hello good morning girls happy day to all i hope you all have enjoyed the puja holidays yes okay uh, today uh, let me discuss problem 25 that is uh, take your textbook page number 200 exercise problem 25 uh, please go through the problem uh, mr a owns a residential property it has two identical units unit 1 and unit 2 so two units are equal units in floor area it is equal while unit 1 is self occupied by a and his family members unit 2 is let out rent being 7000 per month so one unit is occupied by the owner for self residence and another unit is let out for 7000 per month that second unit remained vacant for one month during which it was self occupied it is very clear one month it is vacant if it is simply vacant and it is not occupied means there is a vacancy loss but it is given for that one month it is self occupied okay note that point that is very important during that one month which, which was self occupied so for one month the house is self occupied for 11 months it is let out for one month the house is self occupied and for 11 months it is let out when the house is occupied for part of the year by the owner and for the remaining part of the year it is let out means that will be considered to be deemed to be let out okay municipal value 125000 is given which is to be splitted for unit 1 and unit 2 standard rent 135000 is given that also to be splitted fair rental value also in the same way municipal tax is imposed at 12 percentage on municipal value which is paid by a so here the municipal tax is paid by the owner and then other expenses uh, they have given repairs insurance those expenses are not relevant simply simply leave it a borrowed 8 lakh on 17 2016 from lic at 12 percentage per annum to construct the property Uh, so the loan was borrowed for the entire house both unit 1 and unit 2 construction of the house was completed on june 30 2018 so you know very well while taking the pre construction period date of loan 172016 you should take up to 31st march 2018 which immediately precedes the date of completion of the house the entire loan is still unpaid it means we are paying the interest for the current year also till the loan is repaid the interest will be paid you all know very well compute the income of mr a for the assessment year 2021 on the assumption that income of a from other sources is 2 lakh so income from other sources is given that will be considered later at last okay now come to the workings you open a table as usual the title of the table should be given computation of income from house property this title is very important computation of income from house property within bracket you should give uh, house property of mr a mr a within bracket assessment year 2020-21 okay this column is for inserting rupees okay you please insert rupee symbol wherever it is needed all these are to be followed carefully you know very well the first step is to compute uh, gross annual value there are two units unit 1 self occupied unit 2 deemed to be let out okay municipal value i have split it for both units equally fair rental value also whichever is higher is taken standard rent is compared actual rent for first unit nil for second unit 77000 rent for 11 months gross annual value for unit 1 will be nil because it is it is self occupied by the family members by the owner regarding unit 2 the gross annual value will be 77000 okay now gross annual value in case of first house which is self occupied it is nil for second house second unit it is 77000 less municipal tax is paid as per the data it is 12 percentage it is 12 percentage on municipal value so you should take the respective municipal value and find out 12 percentage on municipal value which comes to 7500 net annual value will be nil for self occupied uh, house 
and for let out that is deemed to be let out house here 69500 less deductions 30 percentage standard deduction for unit 1 it is nil because there is no net annual value for unit 2 it amounts to 20850 Next, one by fifth of pre-construction interest. We have to calculate interest from first July two thousand sixteen to thirty one three two thousand eighteen. You all should calculate the pre-construction interest calculation, which is very important. Uh, that you work out, you know very well. So simply, I am giving the interest. Pre-construction interest here amounts to in total it amounts to uh, that is uh, totally one lakh sixty eight thousand. One lakh sixty-eight thousand for pre-construction period. Okay, so one by fifth should be taken. You know very well. So one by fifth of one lakh sixty-eight thousand. One by fifth of one lakh sixty-eight thousand. Uh, that is thirty-three thousand six hundred. Okay, and then interest for current year. Interest for Current year, interest for current year amounts to ninety six thousand. Now, this is the workings I have done, which is uh, required for interest calculation. Okay. Now, pre-construction period interest totally one lakh sixty eight thousand, out of which one by fifth is taken into account thirty three thousand six hundred. You look at the statement. I have included one by fifth of pre-construction interest equally for both units because both units are identical units. Interest for the previous year amounts to ninety six thousand. Okay, uh, that I have split it forty eight thousand forty eight thousand. So income from house property will be net annual value minus these deductions. So for unit one and unit two we are having loss here. It is loss from house property negative income. So I have included minus symbol negative income. Okay, now it is to be adjusted with other income. As per the data, other income that is income from other sources, two lakh is given, two lakh. With this, the loss is adjusted, eighty thousand nine fifty. So the final answer amounts to one lakh nineteen thousand fifty. That is, uh, that is the uh, loss we have adjusted. So the income of the assessee will be total income of the assessee will be. Total income is equal to one lakh nineteen thousand fifty. After adjusting the loss from house property, this is the final answer. Please go through this problem here. Second unit is let out for eleven months and self occupied for one month, so it is treated as let out. It is taken as deemed to be let out. Actually, for the entire twelve months, if it is let out, means we will say let out house. For part of the year self occupied and part of the year let out means it is taken as deemed to be let out. Okay, so go through the problem fully, read the problem and work out it. So the final answer, the important point you have to notice, the loss from house property is adjusted with other income. So please work out this problem during the class hour today and complete it. If you have any doubt you send the message i will give the reply to you thank you girls